Ready or not, tie your knots. Of course, as long as it's open. <laughs> Look at that. I gotta build me one of them one of these days. <laughs> Jamestown, 450 nautical miles. London, 3540 nautical miles. Barbados, where all the rum is, 1600 nautical miles. Pretty cool. I could crank one of these out on the CNC machine pretty quick. <laughs> uh, white oak. Imagine the balls it took to sail one of these things across the ocean. <laughs> Permission to board. Permission granted. Thank you, sir. And if you only move it six inches at a time, and our anchor rope is 140 foot long, this usually takes a couple hours. See how far you get past the brakes? Whoa, that's river scary down there. <laughs> this is where all they keep all the trade stuff they're going to trade. Uh, well, she's rocking. El Capitan only. Solamente el Capitano. Got his little hatch. It's a rum. Captain keeps all the rum. Damn it. I mean, guys, this is tiny. <laughs> That's the mast right there. That's the mast. dark in here, but that's the back of the boat, and that's the front of the boat. Ain't much down here. Good job. You like your accommodations, sir? What's that? Like your accommodations? I do. Excellent. Very nice. How long till we reach uh, Barbados? If all goes well, no, 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 all together, teamwork. It go. usually takes a month or two to get to Barbados. You're month or two into the trade winds. Wow, 1,500 miles. Usually, and how many miles do you have to travel back and forth to catch the wind to actually go 1,500 miles? Uh, we just go out about 100. We'll catch the trade winds. <laughs> oh, okay. We settled where the trade winds were. They just go in a big circle around the Atlantic Ocean. So that's why we're here on this side of the America, because the winds come from the Indies straight back up to the North Atlantic, back around the England. So you sailed south and then up the trade winds to here? Kind of, from England. That's yeah. exactly what you do. Yeah. Their general rule is once your water starts to melt, you know you take a right. <laughs> you're near the equator at that point. Now what are they doing by turning this? They are lifting anything heavy. A rope would be wrapped around the drum, so you got your anchor up there on the left. Oh, I As see. If we were pulling the anchor, it would be straight in from the front. Oh, gosh. But here in the middle, you've got your pulley ropes with the hooks on them. This is how we lift all our cargo. Oh, this so. We'll hold 34 tons of cargo downstairs. Most of that would be packed in barrels. So it could be anything you could put in a barrel. Watch out for your other stick. There you go. Or it could be cows on occasion. Sometimes we have as many as 14 cows. 14 cows. This is your heavy lifter, so it can move pretty so, much anything. So it could hoist the sail, pull the anchor. Okay, let me try it. Lift cargo, maybe. Why? Got it. Yeah. That's how the crew would go up and down. Now, was, did this boat have any protection, any cannons that went with it, or was this just no. a Our protection is boat? downstairs here. You can wow. see it from above. It is the flag on the left. <laughs> Oh, I see. The red field on the cross of St. George tells everybody that we are a slow boat with no gold and silver. Ah. Y'all ever hear of pirates stealing slow boats that don't have gold and silver on them? 
No, they don't want. They want the good stuff. Yeah, they don't want this. And even if they were hired to throw our cargo in the ocean just to make the English mad, they're still not going to get very far if they steal this boat. <laughs> At best, we get a hundred miles a day. Right. Right. Okay. So that's our best defense. You know, and generally, whenever you're flying, that flag should be flown on the back of the boat. The one that's the white with the red cross should be flown on the front. And just the fact where English is pretty much defense because the English were pretty much the strongest guys on the water. Right. Yeah. If mess with us, we'll come get strong. you. <laughs> now, if they had a flag like that with the blue field instead of a red, that would be a royal ship, and it would have cannons. Yeah. It may or may not have gold and silver, but it'd be kind of like attacking an armored car. <laughs> right. You're in trouble if you do. Whereas we, we're kind of like the UPS truck. <laughs> you wake up, drop off, and you don't hear about UPS trucks being wrong very often. Uh, puppy, look, look over there. All right. You're steering the ship. Da, na, 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 na. Y'all make it like a ship everywhere. Now, what did they build that for? Just to show people how it was constructed, basically? No, yeah. actually, uh, we had a boat here for 34 years that sank. That was going to be its replacement. Oh, okay. There were a few construction problems, so then it became an um, exhibit to boat building. This boat. And this boat was built in 2008 in Maine. It sailed down to 900 miles in nine days of sailing. We have a fully functioning boat and a boat being built. And boats would have been built here in the Americas from Carolina all the way up to Maine. So.